Hello, welcome to Sandwiches of History. It's International Sandwich Sunday, and we're headed down to Mexico for the Chancta Poblana. Uh, this sandwich recipe I'm following is from Rick Martinez, Chef Rick Martinez, uh, and it's a bit of a process, but it's gonna be tasty. One thing to note is that the word chancla in the sandwich is referring to a sandal-shaped bread. I couldn't find a bread like that. I couldn't find a bolillo at the store today, and I'm pressed for time because of the day job, so I'm gonna use a telera bread. Um, it's probably gonna fall apart just because it's really soft, but this looks like it's gonna be one tasty dish. First thing we gotta do, make a guajillo salsa. So to a pan, we add four guajillo chilies, three chili de bowls, two cloves of garlic smashed, thinly sliced white onion, Mexican oregano, black peppercorns, a clove, roughly cut up Roma tomato, and four cups of chicken stock. Now we put it on high heat uh, until it gets to a simmer, then we turn it back down and simmer it for 15 minutes or until the chilies are soft. And no, it didn't say to toast the chilies, which I thought was interesting. Now we puree it all. Now we brown off some chorizo in a cast iron skillet for about six to eight minutes. Oh, and uh, yeah, that's Mexican chorizo. Definitely Mexican chorizo, not the uh, kind from Spain. Add in our guajillo salsa. Then we bring it to a boil, reduce it to a simmer, cover it, let it cook for about 20 minutes. Now we spoon some of this chorizo uh, with the guajillo salsa over the bottom, getting a little sauce on there. Now we add sliced avocado, thinly sliced white onion, some shredded lettuce, a little, little Mexican crema, and some queso fresco. And spoon some of this guajillo salsa all over the top. You could also just dunk it in there, but you know, I'm following the recipe as written. Okay, let's give this chancla poblana a go. And so I had to kind of clean up a little bit. Um, this is a lesson in using the right bread because this telera roll is a little too soft and it's falling apart. If we use the bolillo or an actual uh, roll that we're supposed to use, probably would have held together a little bit better. Um, this is delicious. It's a flavor bomb, right? Already the chorizo sausage had warm spices in it and, and heat. And then you put in this guajillo salsa, let it cook for 20 minutes and that gets reduced and intensified. Spicy, definitely savory with all the onion, the clove and the garlic. Uh, and then you build this sandwich and it's got avocado, which is nice and fatty and rich. And of course it's got the crema and the queso fresco, which is nice, kind of counteracts the heat a little bit and the fresh crunch of the lettuce. This is delicious. I do want to plus it up with one thing though, and it should be pretty obvious. I'm gonna add some cilantro. I thought about adding lime juice, but the chorizo already has a little bit of acidity with the guajillo chili and everything, so I think I'm good. Okay, let's give this chancla poblana plus up with a little cilantro. Go. That is fantastic, and if you have the gene that makes cilantro taste like soap, sorry, you won't like that plus up. All right, so the original chancla poblana Man, that is just an explosion of flavor with the warm spices and the heat of the chorizo, the spiciness and savoriness of the guajillo chili, and the fat from the avocado, crema, and uh, queso fresco. And then of course, we've got the nice freshness from the lettuce. Uh, just an amazing sandwich. I'm gonna give it a 9.75, only because I liked it better with cilantro, so I'm gonna give that a 10. If you don't like cilantro, I would still encourage you to make this and just don't put cilantro on it because it is fantastic. Just, you know, don't be like me and get the wrong roll. All right, I'm gonna finish that over the next couple days because it's huge. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Oh.